Welcome to this uh, tutorial on nuclear. So what exactly is nuclear, you ask? Well, we won't answer that question here. We are here to set up nuclear in your system to help you hack, start hacking away your free time on nuclear. So um, nuclear, you can compile it on uh, Linux, Windows, uh, Mac OS and also any flavor of BSD. I'm pretty sure you can on BSDs, I've not actually tried it though. Maybe that's the point of the next tutorial, but uh, let's let's start right away. So, what do you need to to run Nuclear? Well, first you need to get Nuclear. And we're gonna get it from GitHub, okay? But let's uh, just go onto the documents and let's create a folder to where we can uh, make dir. Let's create a directory called my Nuclear. And I'm not sure whether this is the first Nuclear tutorial on YouTube or not. Maybe it is my nuclear tutorial. Okay, so let's not get to this folder. My nuclear tutorial. So now I've done my homework and I wait on GitHub. Copy the link now. Let's paste the link. So git clone. So git clone that. Okay, so th there's a number of dependencies when you before you compile nuclear before you actually go and go and compile it. Um, the office dependencies you need to have git installed so you need to have git installed, you need to have a C compiler whether it's GCC or Clang will you be using Clang in these tutorials but you can also use GCC would do fine um, so that's that's the basic dependencies so git also when it, let's have a look at nuclear folders on let's see the nuclear and then ls, he has, he has this, this tree view is better, actually. So, a tree, a tree, not tree, 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 tree view. So, you have, um, you have your demo, doc, example, extra font, and then nuclear.h. So, nuclear is a very minimalistic um, library, GUI library for C. It has only a single header file plus whatever you need for the rendering backend so should I go on that point actually let's just let's just all use OpenGL and that's it okay so if you all <laughs> use an OpenGL and uh, then everything becomes life becomes simple okay so let's ignore all the rendering backends except OpenGL um, so considering you're gonna go for OpenGL, could be version three. Let's go for OpenGL version three backend rendering, uh, because of course if you go here on demo, you'll see what well, pick of the devil, a lot of rendering backends. So let's go. Let's let's choose GLFW OpenGL uh, three. And uh, you can choose any other rendering backend, but then you have to solve a different set of dependencies. It won't be difficult. It won't be difficult to do it. So, but let's, let's just go with this one. So let's do sudo apt install, and then it's git. You need to have git. You need to have clang, the C compiler. You need also to have um, the OpenGL uh, utilities, which is lib g glfw glfw3 uh, and then dev the development version and then also lib glue the development version again and then we install press install and then uh, the password you can see and then okay everywhere everything installed no surprise because I've already compiled nuclear on the system but if you don't if you didn't if you never compiled nuclear you need to install these dependencies Okay, so let's move on. So let's go back to our tree command. So let's go t try out nuclear, I compile it, and then have a look at it. What it looks like. So we can we can go to the example folder, and then inside this example folder, there's um, there's some files. Well, there's a make file. Okay, let's make let's type make then. There's a make file. Make and let's use smart processors. Like let's make G three. 
Okay, cool. So it's already. You already can see the compilation commands, you see, called C compiler and then standard 99, C99, and then pedantic for the. Okay, O2 optimization and then it just just vomits the the compile co compilation command. So if you guys are not familiar on C, there's uh, quite a good tutorials on C out there in the web. Um, okay, so it created a binary file. You can see here this the folder bin. So you must have created a folder bin. Here we go, folder bin that's been created. So if you go CD bin. And then type ls, and then you have the the bin binaries created there. So let's, let's type in let's export the binary extended and see. Okay, we have opened a, a nuclear application. This is how it looks like basically. So you have play buttons, stop, pause, and uh, these buttons, toggle buttons. So button select buttons and uh, flag. Uh, Checkboxes and you can load images as well on this thing. So it's quite quite cool. You can actually type text. It converts. Does it convert? So if I type uh, twenty one, does it convert? I don't know. Well, okay. Uh, binary number seven says binary here. Binary digits. It's quite cool. Or it accepts only hexadecimal, so you don't accept letter I, but accept the letter C, for example. Okay. So, uh, number 3, okay. C3, okay, cool. So, this is um, not a converter, but it just accepts. This box accepts. Just So, if you type in number 3 in a binary box, you won't accept number 3. So, this is what a basically. Um, what a basic uh, nuclear application looks like. Um, yeah. Okay, so see you guys next tutorial. We'll go over the basics of actually the GUI logic. We'll look at the GUI logic, so to get the GUI logic, how to build GUIs in nuclear. Okay, see you guys later.